we are really trying to save money. And one of the ways that we are saving money is we really turn down our heat, which I'm sure most of you are doing that as well, because we use electric to heat our home. Now we do have a hot furnace, a uh, hot oil, and we don't use the oil for heating our home. It, it broke years ago. Now we do use oil to heat our water, which is only just for in our bathroom to take showers. But we really lowered our heating. Now our bedroom has no heat. Our bathroom has no heat. Uh, people watched my cleaning video and they said, why do you have so many covers? Well, we don't have any heat in our bedroom. But one of the ways that we have really helped us with not having so much heat is, you're gonna laugh when you see this, but I wanted to share with you how we live and what we're doing to help save money. Well, to help pay the bills, to be honest with you. And <laughs> they're stockings. So these are what you call men's tube socks. They're big, they're long, they go up over the knee. And let me tell you what, they keep your legs and feet so warm. I'm gonna show you here in just a moment, me wearing them. But she gave me two packages of them. Now, the ones that I was using, I've had them for years, I think maybe five or six years, and they were starting to really wear thin. And these will be perfect. And when I got them out of the package, I'm like, whoa, whoa, these things are huge. But you'll see when you put them on how nice they are. Right, so I'm gonna sit on the chair so I can demonstrate to you. This is what I do. Now, it's so interesting, but it's going to really help make your body warmer. Also, these aprons make my body so much warmer. The bandanas actually keep the heat in my head and that actually helps keep me warmer too. But let me show you what we do. All right, so this is how I put them on. They go the whole way up over the knee. They are super duper soft, they are not tight. Now, let me show you what I do. Then I go ahead and I put these on too. And that is what I do to keep myself warm. So another thing that we do is we have the oil lamps. Now these oil lamps really produce a lot of heat in our home. And so what we would do is we will light one of these lamps in our rooms that don't have any heat and they really produce so much warmth. They take all of the, it, so the draftiness, so we have a really old home and our home is really drafty. There's a lot of questions with these oil lamps and there's some questions I never answered. Now I have full tutorial videos on oil lamps, but I wanted to share with you an answer to a question that people have asked and I never answered. So do you need a carbon monoxide detector with these? In my opinion, you only need that if you have a new home or a very small home. In other words, I don't know if I would recommend you having more than one of these lit in an apartment. In that case, a carbon monoxide detector would be very helpful. We do have carbon monoxide detectors in every room. Now, we've had that because we used to have an oil furnace, but these really are amazing to have in a very drafty home. Our home is drafty, and so we don't smell anything. I don't smell any kerosene with these oil lamps because we just don't have a tight-fitting home. Now, I do use different oil. I used to use clean heat. That's become extremely expensive and hard to find. Now, the oil has gone up almost by 35%. But we do get oil on Amazon and it's been, works amazing. I do add a couple of drops of essential oil in my oil lamps. Yes, I do use essential oil and I also use perfumed oil that would be like in candles. And I love doing that, never had a problem with it. Oil lamps are flammable. As you see, I have a flame right here. But if I was to knock this over, then I am going to be doing a, a demonstration outside coming up soon. 
if I knock this over, it is not going to explode. When you've seen old videos of the 1800s where oil lamps or lamps were over, knocked over, they exploded. This will not explode. It's not gasoline, but it will burn and it will burn quickly. And it's somewhat like a candle, but it's a little more, the fire is a little more intense than a candle, but it won't explode. But you never want to have an oil lamp lit if you're not in the room or right in the area. You do not ever want to have it lit and not be home. You don't want to have it lit if you have pets that are the kind of pets that, you know, aren't respectful to your property. In other words, if you have a pet that does not climb up on things and you have a very well-trained pet, these are fine to have. You don't want to have these if you have children or grandchildren who are not used to this. My grandchildren, ever since they were babies, they know to respect oil lamps. That's just something that they grew up with. They know what they are. They know that they are a fire. But it's amazing the heat that comes off of these. The people always talk about if I go outside with oil lamps. I've never had a problem going from inside to outside with my oil lamp. I've never had glass breakage or anything like that. I've been, I've been dealing with oil lamps now for about 20 years. So this is not something that I just started doing. Oil lamps are a big part of my life and they have really helped me as far as keeping our house warm and the ambience of it is absolutely beautiful. And no scent. I used to get headaches when I used the kerosene, the straight kerosene. I don't use kerosene. These lamp oil is more refined kerosene. So it is kerosene, but it's more refined. Now, some of the oils are made with paraffin. Now, if you're one of those people that are very puritist and everything has to be pure and you're concerned about stuff like that, you probably wouldn't want this. But for me, it's, I just, it's been a big part of my life and I love my oil lamps. It takes me about four gallons a year at the most, and I will light my oil lamps anywhere from about the 1st of October to about the middle of March. In the summer, I don't have oil lamps lit. And where I get them, oh, it's amazing. Most of these are heirlooms, or I got them for free. I found them different various places for free. You can buy them used really cheap. Amazon sells them from under $10. In fact, some of them are only $7, which I did a product review on some really neat lanterns that you actually have a handle with them. And Walmart sells them. You can buy them anywhere, and they are super duper nice to have. So what you do is you don't want the flame to get too high. So you keep the flame down. There is no soot. There's no soot up here because I don't have a big, huge flame. What you do is you to distinguish it, you do not turn this to distinguish it. You blow it out. And when you light it, you light it. You don't be turning around at this. You don't need to be turning this up and turning it down. Do not do that. When you're finished with it, all you have to do is blow it out. Take your hand like this and you blew it out just like that. When you add a new wick, you need to let the wick soak in the oil like this for 24 hours. Do not light a wick that's dry. Now, I don't change wicks. I maybe once every year or every two years. And they last me forever. You can buy the wicks, various sizes of the wicks on Amazon. And I love having my oil lamps. Not only do they create a beautiful light, just instead of night lights and things like that when you're working in the evening. Now, to read with an oil lamp, you have to have a couple of them. So LED lights are better for reading, but I love them because they do create warmness. So you will see in my videos, different places where I have oil lamps. One is right at the windows because we have drafty windows. When the oil lamps are lit, it keeps the draft away, which helps us keep our house warmer. Lots of times you will see me have oil lamps in bowls. There's no reason for that other than I love the look of an oil lamp in a bowl. That's just the look of it. There is no, there's no reason for it other than just the old look of it. I hope I answered some of your questions on my oil lamps and how we heat our house when there's some rooms that actually have no heat at all. If you would like more information on my oil lamps, I have a full tutorial that I just did today, a video on 
how you trim the wicks, how do you fill an oil lamp, everything you need to know about oil lamps. And that is on my second channel. I will share that video at the end of this one and also link it in my description box below this video. That way, those of you who really want to learn the tutorial, exactly how you take care and maintain an oil lamp, you can find it there. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. <music>